Wow, she's a really bad dancer. Yeah, she's the worst. Before Noah Centineo graced us with his presence in Netflix's new film, The Perfect Date, another heartthrob was first considered, and you might want to sit down for this one. What's up guys, Susan here for Clever News. Okay, so, if you didn't jump on the Noah Centineo train back into all the boys I've loved before phase, really, what were you doing with your life? This guy plays the perfect modern day heartthrob and evidently, Netflix has the same thoughts as the general population as Noah once again stars in the streaming platform's newest adorable rom-com. My uncle's paying me to escort my cousin to a semi-formal. I'll take your cousin. <laughs> what? I'll take your cousin to the dance. Why? What would you get out of it? I'd get the payment you were talking about. And I get to take your car. You got a suit? I'd volunteer to be Noah's day any day. But like any competitive role in the industry goes, a few other familiar faces were considered for the role before Noah. The film is actually based on Steve Bloom's novel The Stand-In, and after the rights to the book were considered by Warner Brothers, Warner revealed that a much different cast was in mind. The smoke show that is Zac Efron was previously attached to the role along with Shia LaBeouf and the late Gary Marshall who was attached to direct. Wait, so let me get this straight. Zac was supposed to star in The Perfect Date before it was The Perfect Date? Would have actually made it a perfect date. Okay, okay, so Noah isn't at all bad to look at. Trust me, I've spent a lot of time looking at Noah. But the thought of Zack starring in a rom-com is giving me major high school musical flashbacks, so do forgive me. Bloom revealed that the decision to cast Noah had nothing to do with the other actors, but it was simply due to the succession of the big name actors, quote, never quite got over the hump and got made. Oh, okay, yeah. That makes total sense. Regardless of the decision made, we truly can't get enough of Noah, who, by the way, joins an A-plus cast including Laura Marano, Riverdale's Camila Mendes, and Odysseus Georgiadis. But right now, I'm dying to know your thoughts on this casting decision. Have you guys tuned into The Perfect Date yet? And who would you like to see in the next Netflix rom-com? Get to talking down here in the comments, and after that, be sure to click right over here for another new video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell for all the latest updates. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on my socials at Susan underscore Morad, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.